Hey Lola Bells, what's going on? What's going on up in this thing? <laughs> hey babe, so listen. So we got a lot of stuff about to get crackalacking up in here. So yes, I'm going to continue with the series. As you guys can see, by now you should have at least seen at least one little part of um, the intro back into the season. Um, I mean in the series. I think I put the other ones in a playlist. So if you did not start from the beginning of the um the, the series i don't even know if i named it oh gosh anyway um i will put the link to the series if i if that's possible or the other videos prior to um in this in this video maybe description so anyway without further ado you guys know um i did my box opening a couple days ago of mimi and mimi is the me Mealy um sculpt by Ping Lao and she was painted by JLS Reborn um nursery. So um and then of course that's Memphis Pool. He just he just hangs out over here with her a little bit sometime. But anyway, she's sitting here looking scared, like what now mommy? Because um she's had a couple outfit changes, I won't lie, and um behind the scenes, but um I didn't want to take her off of this, but y'all gonna see her wear this again, like at least the top again, because her and her little sister um, uh, have on matching tops. Um, except one is a onesie light top and one is this just a regular top. But I'm gonna put her on some pajamas. I think I'm gonna, oh, I didn't even realize one is shorts. Uh. I didn't realize that she that this came with shorts, so it is two complete sets. I thought it was two shirts on one bottom. Okay, so I'm a probably, I don't think that they can wear shorts. That's the only downside to this kit, but let's let's get started here. Let's not waste no time. I'm gonna get her undressed. As you guys see, I attempted to do her hair. I used to, this is how I did all my girls' hair um, when they were, this size and um smaller or whatever i'm just hoping that you guys can see but um yeah so it's been different having um toddlers um in the nursery now just trying to figure out where they're gonna sit so i've been looking at some different um toddler furniture and how I would incorporate it in this small space. I mean, I don't have a small space, but it's small when you consider everything that takes place in this room. Um, so it's a full-blown nursery. And then also I have two, look, she still got a tag. Um, this is a 2T. The other shirt that the other one got on is a 24 month. They're both the same sculpt. Um, so it feels like she's bigger than, um, Lulu, but maybe it's just because um, Lulu not completely, completely put together or something. I don't know, but she does seem, um, Mimi does seem to be older, so I'm going to make her um, be um, three, and the other one is going to be um, two. Um, so they're going to be like, probably like exactly like nine months apart. I know, or ten months apart. Right after that six-week checkup, child. Oh, wait now, wait, wait. See, I'm still trying to get used to this. Um, you know, getting them dressed. Now, it does make a little squeak when you turn the, the arms, but not much. Um, not like I've heard like the when babies have those armatures in them, how they make that, that squeaky, squeaky noise. They don't do that. Um... So, <laughs> so you guys are about to see her get completely undressed. Um, but luckily she is not anatomically correct, so we don't got to worry about all of that. So, and...
she does not have on like a pull up or anything um i have ordered her some training pants um and i think i i don't have any pull ups but i don't think i think i gave the pull ups that i did have here away so i'm a um I'm gonna order her some some pull-ups or stop by the store and get her some pull-ups if needed. But I think I'm just gonna use training pants. So I'm gonna try the training pants first, see how I feel about them. And that way, you know, um, she'll have on something. I don't think that she can wear shorts because the, you know what I mean? Cause this part is gonna show so I could see, but I doubt it. I think you're gonna have she's gonna have to wear like capri light, um, capri light pants. But what I'm going to do though is I'm gonna still put this on the other one because she's not like fully put together. So I don't care about her cloth, but I still want them to be dressed alike. <laughs> So it's crazy because it's like, you know, like the head will just sit there on the the um, neck on these. But um, they have these connectors inside and stuff. So I've never put one together before. And I don't want to mess up the connectors by putting them on and then having to try to figure out how to take it apart. And then put it back, you know. So I'm going to just wait until she's rooted in order to, um, once I uh, get get a Lulu rooted, then I'll I'll go ahead and really put her together. And um, plus, um, it's a lot of baking that has to go taking place because I text the way I texture her, and when I do that type of texture, it takes a lot of. Um, it take a lot of time to um, make sure that it's done properly and, you know, just bake properly. Oh, gosh, what size is this? So this, guys, this is a 12-month. And as these, I didn't buy these specifically for them. I had meant to get some tape. She had, um, like, hair on her when she came. And I know it's from her hair. It's just a little bit, but if I put tape on it. So I don't I don't think this is gonna work. So this is the 12 month pajamas. And I'm really look, I'm really trying to make them work. Um but as you can see, they're pretty much pretty tight. So I wouldn't recommend getting 12 month at all. I would definitely always get at least 18 month. Cause at this point, because this part is a little fatter. You don't really want to be showing that separation. You want it to kind of look like, you know, her legs are all together. So, yeah, so you don't want to do that. Now, what I, what I will do to make it look more natural is you could probably, like, pull these up to, like the knee knee area like that so that it don't so it don't look like it's you know like she got on some type of brace on her legs or something like that so that kind of helps right so we're gonna do that and i think i was thinking about putting her on this shirt but I think I'm going to go ahead and put her on this one. I don't normally do glitter, but I I guess this was on clearance when I got it. And I bought it with the glitter. So, but I'm going to go ahead and put her on this. Just because I think, you know, just to... I mean, I could put this and this together. But I don't think that's the way it was supposed to be. And I don't, I don't really like it like that. So I'm going to put it this way with her. Um, but yeah, so I've been really, really enjoying having the big babies and now I kind of get why people are like so in love with them 
because it I mean it is like nice to have the big babies in in the room and even just like after I dress them and I gotta get her some more earrings too I'm gonna get her and Lulu matching earrings as well um but yeah just you know they can fit more clothes they have more clothes options of course but not just that it's just it's just so much role play and stuff that you can do with them and they just look so cute and you can pose them so many different ways and they can get into so much stuff and it's just nice it's it's nice but i love i always love my babies now because my babies you know you hold them and they just cuddly and melt in your arms and all that i listen you can't i ain't gonna be holding girl what you got an attitude let me find out because i could fix that for you listen because the one thing about these two girls is they kind of they kind of moody and um that's why i think sometimes they be in here going at it because they both got little attitudes her and her sister and she got this one and the other one got the pink one so um yeah so lulu like the pink one and she have the yellow one but they are funny child like girl if you don't sit down somewhere with that foolishness acting like she got an attitude because she don't want nobody to dress her she don't be wanting to do nothing that she don't want to do <sighs> lord have mercy but that's my baby I so love her. I, I'm so happy, guys. I I am. I am just so happy. I feel so blessed. It's just, y'all have no idea. Let me um, see if I can turn it a little bit, yeah, so you guys can see. That way you guys can see the whole her, but <laughs> she's, just, she's just such an amazing sweetheart. I'm hoping that I can get, um, like I said, a few more toddlers. And I know that's crazy. I'm already complaining about space. But I just want to complete, you know, the whole set. But, yeah, this is her. And let me see. I was trying to get her little feet. And, um, you uh, know, I think I like her skin tone a lot because I feel like she is closer to um my skin tone but of course i'm darker i think but she like maybe like when i was younger type if that makes sense so i like that and i like i i'm definitely making her be the older one because it's funny because my um oldest daughter had more of a reddish color like we'll call like you I know some of y'all don't know, like you would call her a dirty red or like when she would in the summertime she gets like a orangey red like um sunburn color sunburst color um wherein the second daughter um she was more yellow and pale like she didn't really she wouldn't tan or anything even in the summer she never got darker like the other kids would get dark in the summer and then lighten back up in the winter she wouldn't she wouldn't her color would always stay the same so um she definitely kind of remind me of the oldest one a little a lot more and then the other one um reminds me of the second one the more i spent more time with her and i've been looking at her and especially since i did her hair like this because um the oldest one had the longest hair when she was little and her hair was like really really long and um like that and so um and then the uh, the second one hair was really long eventually but she, the oldest one always had the longest hair so it's just gonna be so cool and i just love her so much and she just she doesn't say much but she do little things so and i'll have to tell you guys all the stories but for now thanks for watching us get her ready and then we will be back and you'll get to see her play and maybe I'll take her for a walk once it stops doing all this raining and we'll take her to the park. 
Later.